This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I've been bitching and complaining about this for a long time now, but rather than me just showing you still images and just ranting and raving about the same thing about Tails' vault, I'd rather just show you an explanation of why this is probably the worst pay to win mechanic in the history of any mobile Sonic game. Yeah, so right now, you're seeing right now footage of, of, uh, of the new uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie characters from Baby Sonic to Teenage Sonic uh, to Long Claw. Yes, what you're seeing is uh, players actually spending real money or their, uh, to level up these characters. Like I said, it's the new meta. And obviously, you could tell that all the uh, rewards they got here because they had to pay with all their hard-earned money. So yes, even if you get the cards for the characters, if you want to level up to their uh, full capabilities, you still have to pay them with gold rings. And you can't farm gold rings in this game because you don't get that many. So that means you still have to spend real money getting gold rings, you know, with red star rings, and you kind of understand how the cycle works. So just because you spend $10 on Tails' vault to get all those cards, you, you still have to spend gold rings to get those level those characters leveled up and they could and right now you're watching a screen of all the tales vault cards look at this well obviously i don't know what language this is uh so i'm assuming whatever this kind of currency is it's going to add up to almost ten dollar in the states because every different country has different currency so you have to forgive me on that so obviously uh he had to spend access to all these cards where for the rest of us who are free to play if we don't pay them within 30 days or whatever you have to throw those cards away they don't give you they don't even give you a fucking option to pay them with red star rings like seriously this is by far the worst pay to win mechanic ever in any damn sonic game like seriously and i just recently got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links and i see their structure deck exes yes at least you can buy the deck with a thousand gems which is reasonable, at least for the first time. At the second and third time, if you want to buy that deck again, you have to spend like $4.99. I get that. But at least you get access to those cards for your first time at least. So at least Konami does it better. Sega does it the worst out of every damn, damn fucking company. And now you know why I'm always frustrated about this. Now you know why I don't even bother getting these characters because what is the point? Even if you get the level, even if you farm and grind your way to the game and get them at level 3 or 4, whatever, you still have to have the gold rings to compensate for that. Gold rings are more expensive for characters, you know, like, you know, like, you know, Baby Sonic and everyone else. You know, for lower levels, you, they can cost as, as little as 5,000 all the way to 500,000. It's ridiculous. Like, I can't believe who could... Why would you even advocate for this? It's ridiculous. Now, I understand these people, yes, they can spend their hard-earned money on all the characters they want. I get that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I do have a problem with people spending their hard-earned money on stupid shit like this. We're in a current crisis right now. Do you really have to spend crap on this on a game that's probably going to be dead soon? Like, seriously, this game is always online-based only. That means if this game is dead or no, no longer profitable, Sega can always pull the plug on this game, and then you'll never see it again, and all that money you wasted will be for fucking nothing! That's why I have a problem with this. You see? Like, right now, yes, I am currently still playing this game, but I'm just trying to use my characters just to c compete in the fucking meta. You know, like, people want to pull this shit, fine, and I'll keep spamming Lightning Bolt uh, with Amy to at least try to get some sense sense of uh, fairness here like i said i mean these assholes want to cheat then you got to cheat back that's the only best explanation i can think of you know for a lot of free-to-play players out there you know that's the best way to you know have you know not fun at the game but at least try to survive and make something of yourself because for the because for the last month i've gotten re i've gotten complaints from subscribers where they just started playing this game they got themselves to the uh they got themselves to the uh, 3000 Club League, and the problem is, is they never farmed anything. Like, they just used their, de their uh, default characters, and by the time they got to the 3000 Club League, they were dealing with nothing but uh, Metal Sonic spammers, Reaper Metal Sonic spammers, and of course, the new movie character uh, characters, which have overpowered abilities, 
but the reason why they have overpowered abilities is because they want you to spend real, real fucking money. That's how Sega expects you to get ahead. Like, oh, if you want to join the uh, higher rankings, you got to get these new characters. Give me a fucking break, Sega. This is your saddest attempt ever to make money. I can't believe people are even still playing this garbage game. It bothers me so much that people are spending money on this game to actually, sh you know, if you want to hurt Sega, hurt them in the fucking pockets. How hard is that? Seriously. This game is a fucking cancer. You have no idea. Like, seriously. The main reason why I left Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is because I couldn't take it anymore with the fucking toxic meta, but the meta changes all the time in Duel Links, and almost seven and a half months later, things are different now. Things are balanced, at least. Thank God. But at least now... You know, in speed battle, things are never balanced. Everything has been a complete shit show since the season 11 nerfs. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, this is what the new meta is going to be. We're going to get no new characters. They're all going to be, you know, like these kind of characters where you're going to have to spend real money with Tails' Vault, just a little money to get red star rings, to get gold rings. That's one thing people don't understand too, like, oh, what harm is it going to do to get maybe like 100 or 200 free cards by spending $200? Yeah, but you still got to have the gold rings to even level up your characters. Like, you could have 3,000 cards on your character is one thing, but you still got to have the gold rings to fucking pay for them. Like, seriously, like, that's one thing people don't understand. You still got to pay gold rings to level them up. And they can go up to almost 100,000 or 200,000. It's ridiculous. I don't know why anybody would support this. Like, seriously. If you want to, like, I'm not saying, like, just boycott the game. Like, well, actually, I should boycott the game, but you, you know what I mean. Like, I've been getting so many requests, like, you know, Tales is Vault. No one's talking anything negative about this fucking feature. Well, I am, because I'm not afraid of these bastards. These assholes blocked me on fucking Twitter months ago. So I have the balls to actually say something about it. Tales is Vault is by far the worst pay-to-win to, pay to win system Sega's ever had in any mobile game. Now, I can't vouch for any other companies because I don't play that other mobile game, so you have to bear with me on this. Like, I don't know how other RPGs do that because I don't play those kind of mobile games, so you have to uh, forgive me on that. But when it comes to Sega mobile games, this is by far the worst pay-to-win mechanic ever. I've never seen anything worse like this. Like, Sonic Runners, yes, the infamous 2.0 update and the 50 Red Star Rigs may have been pricey, but at least you could farm that game. It was tedious and annoying, I get I get it, but it was still a viable, sustainable option. Here, on the other hand, no. You have to spend real money, and if you don't, they, you, you lose the cards. The game basically just laughs at you, saying, oh, you throw the cards, you can't even spend Red Star Rings to even save them. Where Konami at least lets you spend 1,000 gems to at least get that new structure deck ex and get some nice cards out of it you know so at least you know at least have something to get and at least you know by spending 10 bucks you have that full deck complete the point of the story is that sega right now is the worst company right now and you can't defend that konami's doing a better job than they are you can't even debate me on uh, debate me on that all i'm saying is look you can do whatever you want okay i'm done beating this to a dead horse because what is the point? I keep I keep sending messages out there. I keep, you know, bitching and complaining. And there's still some people supporting this crap. I'm just saying, look, you do you. If you want to spend your money supporting this fucking game, go ahead. All I know is once this game is dead, at the end of the day, I'm going to have the last laugh. Because anybody who spent real money on this game, you're going to lose all that data and all that money you spent. All those characters are going to be are going to be gone. Because this is a mo this is always going to be an online only game, and then people are just going to lose interest in the game. And if people lose interest in the game, it, it's only a matter of time before Sega pulls the plug on this fucking atrocity of a game, and they can always shut down the servers at any given time once they deem the game is not profitable. And the fact that you're actually giving these assholes money for a fucking game like this, where it's where it's not even balanced. You know, if a game was balanced, at least I could kind of forgive them for that. But no, it's an unbalanced fucking game. It really is. Nothing has been changed ever since season 11. Things have ne have gotten worse. Things have never gotten back to normal because of that. So please, you know, don't fucking tell me that nothing's going to change. Like, I get it. You know, nothing's going to change. I get that. But still, if you want to if you want to support Sega for this fucking piece of shit game, go ahead. I'm done trying con trying convincing everybody. I'm just done with it already. Now, you know, you're probably saying, like, am I still going to play this game? Yes, here and there, I will. You know, I mean, I have my characters. I worked hard for them. You know, I might as well. You know, same thing with Duel Links, you know. You know, like I said, I mean, I have a 
I have a love-hate relationship with this fucking game, so I might as well keep playing it. A lot of you enjoy it, you know, here and there, and I mean, I love the characters too, but I hate the fact that they're behind a bullshit paywall system. That's what I hate the most. They should at least make it an option where at least if you want the character, or if you, or for Tails' fault, how about we spent a thousand or five hundred Red Star Rings? At least make it fair! How hard is that, Sega? Are you fucking lazy? Wake the fuck up and listen to your people! Enough is enough! But that's all I have to say about this fucking rant right here. If y'all enjoy it, you know, leave a like. You know, it really helps get the message across if y'all leave likes. And yeah. I mean, that's I mean that's all I have to say about Tales of the Vault. There's nothing more else to say. I just wanted to save everything for this epic rant video. I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you later. Alright, peace.